Hey everyone, today's video is about when you are revealing dress for your anniversary together. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Black Girl would love to see you in a dress like that. Most of your waist was already revealed, and it had a really, really low neck, so most of your chest was also showing. And it was really, really short. You wanted to make the perfect plan for your anniversary. So how are you going to do that? You were just going to make a date in the house, not anywhere else. You had a nice house, you and him. It's already been multiple years since you have bought it, and you memorized every part of it without even looking. It was almost exactly like your dream house. You decided that you're going to cook a nice meal for him and you, a grand one. Over the years, you had picked up Bakugo's habits of cooking, and also, you have learned a lot of skills from him. He was probably the best cook ever, so being married to him did have a lot of advantages, to be honest. While you were preparing a meal, you kept looking at yourself in the mirror. You were wearing an apron to make sure that your clothes wouldn't get ruined. But then you thought, why can't you just take it off instead? Why were you so dumb? So you turned off the stove and quickly took it off before going back and making the food again. While sitting at the table, you made sure that everything looked fancy. God, everything looked so perfect. Flowers on the table, petals on the floor, from the doorway till your bed and your bed that was another topic your bed had a white blanket on it and a red teddy bear with the word love on it it looked so amazing to be honest looked so romantic and the candles everywhere you thought maybe this was the most perfect date that you had ever made in your whole life then you called him. Hey, Malayan, how are you? Um, I'm great. I just wanted to request one thing before you came. I'm already on my way. What is it that you want, baby? I was thinking you could buy us a cake to celebrate our anniversary, you know, instead of making a big celebration. Oh, yeah, of course. I wanted to do something big for you. But if you really want something simple, then, yeah. I could go with that too. Well, we can just watch a movie night or something. You know? I got it. I'll be back before you know it, honey. Please call me when you're on your way. I'll heat the food up. Alright. Will do. He made sure to get the cake and also some small gifts for you. Jewelry and stuff like that. He even bought you a pretty dress just for you and him. Um, why not? I'm on my way, honey. I got the cake, too. Okay. Um, I'll get the food ready. Yeah, I'll be there. Panic mode on. You were literally running around, putting on makeup, writing your hair up, and putting on your outfit. Well, your revealing dress. Is that what you wanted to call it? And then you heated up the food. Um, oh god. Am I pretty enough? Should I just do this instead? You were still panicking until you heard keys. Uh, what is this? Flowers? What? What is this even leading me to? To me, of course. You giggled, and then he looked at you. And when you say that his eyes were plugging out of their sock hats, We'll believe you with every little trust we have. Huh? Damn, how do you even look so beautiful? How did you even manage this? I don't think I actually tried. I know. You look so beautiful without trying. You're forlessly beautiful. God, you're gorgeous. That's not the point. It's our anniversary. And... And I think we should celebrate, don't you think? But you didn't tell me that you were going to celebrate. I wanted it to be a surprise. Even then. 
I still bought you some gifts. Wait, really? Of course. Anything for you, hon. For this gorgeous face I have. How are you even so lucky to have such a romantic guy with you? Alright, let's go. The food is ready. Even made food, see? You're perfect for me. Oh, shut up. When we got married, I didn't even know how to cook then. I only learned them because... Because of how you cooked in front of me. Well then, you're really a good learner. But anyways, let's go. Come on, I'm really hungry. Yeah, me too. I've been waiting for you. I wanted it to be special. Let's go then. He sat down at the table, and he began to eat immediately. Damn, the heck? Are you sure you didn't buy this anywhere? Me giggled, shaking your head. No, no. I made this myself, I'm sure. Damn. You really should be a chef somewhere, Wyan. I said it's because of you, anyway. I said that you're a really good student. That's not what you said. But let's just eat. And afterwards, you exchanged your gifts. And, well, you know, we just followed that one path that led to your bed. The piddle path. And then he threw you on the bed immediately. Did I say that you look gorgeous? You said it multiple times already. Well, I'll never stop saying it. You're so gorgeous, Wyan. And then he began to kiss. His hands started gripping your sides. Before. Going down. And gripping your thighs instead. And squeezing the flesh in his hands. Making you moan against his lips. God, I love you. Me too. And then he began kissing again. This time his lips traveling down instead and giving you hickeys right on your collarbones and literally all over your shoulders. These shoulders of yours shouldn't just be empty like that. They won't. You're marking them up for a reason, you know? Right. They won't from now on. And, whoops, I really don't have to go into details. Do I? Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And what do you think about the, the anniversary idea? Sorry, I just keep, I keep um, stuttering a lot and making a mess. Oh, God. I literally am just going to the dentist, so that's why I keep messing up. I have a dentist in, like, 30 minutes, so... I'm not sure. But anyways, thank you and goodbye.